out. The owner came up, she was very, very bitter. She was very mad at me. She was very upset that I was in McDonald's and she asked me if I was filming and I said, yes I am. And she said, get out. I have video of her saying it. So, all right, do you wanna pop over here real fast? Let's have a conversation. How you guys doing? Uh, give me two seconds. How you doing, sir? How you doing, man? My, my pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. How you doing, man? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys all came. Thank you. Thank you. There's 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 lots of people in the parking lot here. Lots of citizens. There you go. Lots of lots lot lots of citizens are here who are are sick of the corruption. We're gonna do a, an interview right now. So jump in that passenger side if you would, please, so we can have some privacy. So, you're not afraid people are going to see you? No, I'm tired of being pushed around by these so-called, you know, people that are supposed to protect us, and they don't. All they do is harass and threaten us and harm us. Mm -hmm. I mean, it started with me with a domestic a few years back, and um, I was held captive. The cops, I had went to my garage during this domestic three-day thing, and I was screaming for someone to call the cops because he wouldn't let me go. He caught me, come out and tackled me. They watched me get beat. Who tackled around. you? This, I'm not going to name his name. He's dead. Um, but it was bad. It was a domestic. He was my boyfriend. Okay. okay. And uh, so the cops finally show up. And I'm thinking, I, I can get out of there. I have a gash in my head, blood, black eyes, bruises all over me. It was bad. And the cops like, well, what do you want to do? Because it was my house. And I said, well, I want him out. And he stood on his bag and said, well, uh, why don't we both go to jail? Because apparently in this town, the cop can decide if it's relevant for both to go to, to jail. But I guess me beating up was good enough for me to go to jail. Right. So, so I'm sorry, you're crying. And, and, and what, what are you the most upset about right now? Because it was a traumatizing situation to begin with. The cop never took the time to treat me like a person or a human and to see what the real problem was. He never took the time to do that. Automatically, I was considered bad and had to go to jail. I've been there, man. And then I get almost killed there because they had to do staples in my head. I had seven staples with a hairline fracture in my skull now. And the cops escort me over there to St. Mary's, and then they're taking me to jail after. They're booking me in. You're going to jail, which, by the way, that's that's going on. Lots of couples are being arrested. We talked to one woman. Her husband was arrested in the, in the convenience store she works at. They arrested her. When they arrested Tim, they arrested Sarah. Double the revenue. Double yes. the revenue. That's right. That's right. And so... I was like, I can't believe I'm still going to jail. So they're booking me, right? And hair's falling down from where they had to shave to put the staples in. They're booking you in after you have staples in your head? Yes. I have a head trauma, a severe concussion, and I'm being booked into the county. And I, he's talking to me, and I, hair's coming down. And I went, you know, to get the hair out of my face. He said, don't you spit at me. And he threw me, Spall Jarek, I'll never forget him, threw me on the ground, stuck his knee on my neck. I couldn't breathe. I thought my last breath was going to be with that asshole's knee on my neck. And everything went black. I went ahead and just closed my eyes and accepted it because I couldn't breathe anymore. And then the woman goes, that's enough. You got to let up. And he let up just in time. So somebody, I don't know who it was, wanted me out of there. And uh, my parents got contacted, and my dad was right there because he knew I was hurt. I go to court a couple weeks later, and everything's dropped on me. Why do I even have to go do that? It wouldn't have been that way if they would have checked. That was just one time. Yeah. Another time that was a severe trauma. My daughter got on methamphetamines that I blame the county for. They are responsible for putting this shit on the street just as much as anybody else. And she gets messed up and she's like acting crazy. And I want to help her so I call 911. Oh no. Well she had pulled a knife. Oh, and I had no. to get a knife from her. And I already was traumatized from that. And they show up with a sheriff. And the sheriff is sitting there, well what's your name? which they are not allowed to do. 
they are not allowed to show up and ask other people for their IDs and information just because you're there. That's, That's right. illegal. That's right. So I wouldn't give him my information. That's and right. He, he yep. said, it's okay, Krista Jamarco. You got a warrant. And he puts me in. And he promised for child support. And we're like, no, it's not. That's been done a long time ago. You're crazy. Just so you know, you get this free trifold. It's in the comment when it says, give me your ID. And you're not the subject of the stop. And you're not driving. You show them this and say, I'm not giving you ID. Exactly. You can get it for free. You get the digital download for free. It doesn't cost you anything. Well... I end up getting in the cruiser and I'm like, mom, mom, I do not have a warrant. Will you go get the paper off the side of my bed? She had had emergency surgery two weeks before and I was supposed to be in court that day. And I called my lawyer. He, something got messed up. I got a warrant. Who cares? I turned myself in for the warrant. It was dropped five days before this happened. What happened when you turn yourself in though? They dropped the warrant because I showed up at court. Okay. Okay. And I did, you know, I was responsible. I told her, look, I, we, something happened with my mom last week. I couldn't show up. She fixed it. So you, we, we kind of skipped something here, though. We kind of skipped something. So earlier she said that she had been beaten up, staples in her head. The cop decides that they both need to go to jail for this. Her ex-boyfriend is now dead. So we're not talking about him. We're talking about her. And they, they take her from the hospital where she has staples in your scalp. If you've never had staples in your scalp, I have. Mm -hmm. It's worse. So then when they take you to the dungeon, do they strip search you? Oh, yeah. So they strip search her going from the hospital. Yeah. It's to demoralize you. It's to dehumanize you. It's to break your soul. Because how exactly. many people here, how many people here, when they meet someone new, turn around, spread their butt cheeks, and cough? How many people here do that? So the war on drugs is a farce. It is. It's a total farce. Look what they did to this woman. She was beaten by a man. And they arrested her for it. Huh. That's going on right here. It's disgusting. And this could it be is. called Anywhere Town. You, I'm sorry for interrupting you, Krista. I just wanted to make sure that people knew that it's you fine. were sexually assaulted on top of being wrong. My hand's shaking. It's making me so mad. You, your story has got me the most emotional yet because it's wrong what happened to you. Yeah, and I'm not done because when I called 911 for my daughter that day after I took a knife from her, this was like a year later. Okay. I take that knife from her and I'm scared. She's overdosing. I call 911. The cops show up. They start wanting our IDs instead of worrying about the person I called on. And I'm like, why are you even here? We called 911 anyways, not you. Okay, so they take me to jail on a warrant that was originally dropped. He wouldn't let me prove it. He wouldn't let me go get the paperwork. I told him right there, you are breaking my civil rights. Well, who's the cop? Um... That one was, um, you all are talking about him all the time, Blankenship. Blankenship took you to jail on a warrant that didn't exist. Yes. And then they pretended like it wasn't there for three days. I sat there for three days. You went to the dungeon. So now this is the second time you've second been to Second time I've dealt with them. How many people ha have, have you raped? None. How many people have you beat up? None. How many people have you made a victim out of that person? None. You've had zero victims in your life, but yet you've been dragged to the dungeon, strip searched, sexually assaulted. Did you have to turn around, squat, and cough? Yes. You, so you know the term turn around, squat, and cough? Yeah. Wow. And so now you go to jail for calling the police for a wellness check to help you with your daughter. Is that correct? Yes. And so the, then when Blankenship gets there, he runs the radio and they say you have a warrant that you know has already been quashed. Mm-hmm. And so you say, I have paperwork in my bedroom. Let me show it to you. Don't arrest me. Mm -hmm. And what does Blankenship say to you? No, I wasn't allowed to get my paperwork. He said, just get in the car. He shoved me into the car. Takes my head, dunks me down, and shoves me into the car. Knocked my head off the side of the car, too, while he was doing it. I was so mad. I, I kept my cool, though. But when I got to jail and they wouldn't look it up, like, come on, it's right there. It's right there. Look it up. They know. They didn't want to do their job. I got manhandled in the jail over that shit. Wow. Wow. You had to stay in jail for three days? Three days. My mom ended up calling Monday because it was on a, a damn Friday night. Friday afternoon is what it was. So it was technically two days. But Monday morning, she calls over to the courthouse and she's like, why is my daughter in jail? She done went and got this warrant dropped two weeks ago. Why is she in jail? And so they go and look it up. And I still don't know why it took so long to get across the street to begin with. It had been dead for five days before that happened. So this is another story. Just like, just like Tim Lyons, 
Remember, uh, Officer Sheriff Lawless, he wants a new jail. They, they, they dungeoned Tim Lyons for three days saying you don't have a bond. And then they dungeoned her for three days saying that she had a warrant that she knew was not there. Did they check to see if maybe you had paperwork that was legit? No. They said they looked on the computer, but they didn't. And then this one sheriff comes in, and I know him. What's He's his name? Bowles. Bowles? Bowles. And he looks it up, and he goes, look, guys, it's right here on the front part of her screen. It says uh, update, and you click on it, and it said that my warrant was dropped. And which so, day was that? Day one, two, or three? Three. And then, so so Bowles is your friend then? Or he, he well, acted Bowles like a... said, get Jamarco out of here. She's a lawsuit waiting to happen. That's what he said. Wait, so Bowles doesn't say it's wrong that you've been dungeoned. He says this is a lawsuit waiting. How long ago was that? That was... Uh, well, that was two years ago. Was it been more than two years or just two years? Just two years. Can you? We need to know if it's within two years because you should file a civil rights lawsuit. I want a civil rights lawsuit. I tried. I asked everybody and no one would help. Lawyers are not going to help no, you unless you're not. paying them. Unless you're giving hey, them I paid money. for an attorney and he still stuck me under. That was a Kentucky case. That was recent. They were in my vehicle when I come out of my friend's house. How did they do that? Didn't even pull me over, dude. In my fucking vehicle. When I come out. So so you're just a, a everyday lawless lawbreaker. Is that who you are? Oh, yeah, I guess so. So so do you assault people? No. Are you a meth dealer? No. Are you beating children? No. How, I, I don't understand. I don't even do anything. I'm fine. And you've been to jail three times that we're talking about so far. Mm -hmm. There's a third time too, right? Yeah. In another county. What, what do they go to jail for there? Okay, so... TJ and Sarah, they're my friends. They're my buddies. Like, I've stayed the night with them and hung out with them. They knew my deceased husband. And so we all hung out, hung out together, you know. Sure. And, um, well, Derek had just died. And they knew I was having a rough time. And money was tight. And I'm taking care of four grandkids <laughs> and my elderly parents. So I needed cigarette money. And he loaned it to me. Oh. Well, I was going down the road, and this girl that I knew is pregnant, and she's walking on the outside, and her dude's walking on the other side. I stop and give him a ride. Okay. So we get over there. She's throwing up, so I park towards the dumpster because I don't want her to get sick in my truck, and that way, you know, it all works out. Well, I go into TJ's house, and I'm hanging out, and 20 minutes later, I come out, and there's some cops in my truck. They have my Suboxone in their hands that was in my wallet. What's Suboxone? Um, it's for, um, well, it's for, like, uh, I was addicted to opioids about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and I started taking Suboxone for it, because where I was pain management, they switched me to that. So. Suboxone. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how'd they get into your truck? Uh, he just opened up the door, I guess, or he got permission from the girl that was there. She's she was scared. She didn't know what. Which to cop do. was this? Um, now his name it was something Brad something I can't remember his was last it, name. Was it was it was it Hanshaw? No, this was in Kentucky, and okay. I got the paperwork on his. Okay. He even wrote it out on the ticket that he had followed me and never pulled me over. So it was a lie. Um, yeah. And lie. yeah, and I took it to court and I knew I had it, but they strong armed me the whole way. I paid twenty seven hundred dollars for a lawyer. Crystal Lauder, he lives over here. Crystal Lauder. Chris paid for him. Crystal Lauder, your Google rating just went down. How do you spell his last name? D E L W A D E R. Krista Lauder. Did, now you paid him. He wasn't a private. He wasn't a public pretender. Nope, I he, paid him. You paid him, and then did he get the body cam? No, he said that they couldn't get it. I had asked for it. They, he said they couldn't get it. Why I couldn't they get crap. it? Why couldn't they get it? Oh, it wasn't working that night conveniently. Oh, so the body cam doesn't work when they illegally search your car? Oh, sure, it don't. No, I don't know. Right, right. No. So, do you think we need a third party over cops? Yes, we do. We definitely yeah. do. I'm tired of getting run over. I can't even call a cop if I need help anymore. You do not call you the can't. cops. Never call the cops. No, nope. you got to take care of it yourself. Get, use your Second Amendment right. Don't hurt anybody. Don't shoot anybody. Right. Don't call the cops. Exactly. The Second Amendment is for a last resort to save your own life. Mm -hmm. But don't call the cops. If your brother, your son, your sister, your lover pulls out a knife, leave. Mm -hmm. You call the cops, you could get killed or arrested, or your exactly. bro or they could get killed or arrested. You do not call the cops in America today. No. It's a bad thing. So, three times you've been arrested. 
three times you've been strip searched three times? Yes. So just, you know, the reason I talk about strip search so much, and you can just let me know if this is true. It's the most demoralizing, dehumanizing, horrifically bad sexual assault you could ever go through. And she was not arrested because she was a drug smuggler. She was not arrested because she was a drug mule. She was arrested for different things, but yet they demoralize you. Mm -hmm. Take off all your clothes, turn around, spread your butt cheeks and cough. Right. Turn around, squat and cough. D d who's the biggest drug dealers inside of prisons and jails? Who is it? The cops. The cops. Who, the who cops brings the, 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 the cops bring the drugs in and then the prison guards distribute the drugs. Is yes, that they do. Right. Right. Same here in Lawrence County. They put the drugs back out on the street. I know people that have been in prison. I had one come out. He's a good hearted guy. He's been in trouble for drugs. He came out. He worked on the farm this past summer. He even said when he was getting booked in that they didn't book all the drugs in. They booked something in and stuck it up in evidence and then they took the rest. Oh. And that cop didn't know he was there and looked over and said, don't you say nothing about this. I'll have, I'll have you. Wait you a know, minute, wait a minute. Wait he a was minute. on his way to prison. I was like, I knew it too. I knew they do that shit. So, so he got caught with drugs. Let's say he got caught with a, you know, let's just use, you know, one pound or whatever it is, or one ounce or whatever. And he got caught with one ounce mm -hmm. and then they booked in a half an ounce or three quarters of an ounce. Exactly. And, and they kept the rest. Exactly. And then they told him, hey, don't you say anything or we'll make it worse for mm -hmm. you. And he was going to prison. So, you know, he didn't want more time. <laughs> Wow. They threaten you the whole time. Well, if you plead not guilty, you're still going to do time. They threaten you with jail time the whole time. Yeah. If you, Even if it doesn't matter, you're innocent and they're still threatening you with jail time. That's crazy. That's what the prosecutor's office does too. Either you plead guilty or we prosecute you to the full extent. Mm -hmm. of, is that why we have prosecutors is to try to get people to put them in a dungeon? Or do we have prosecutors to uphold our civil liberties, our civil rights by the social contract written by John Locke? That's why we're supposed to have any mm -hmm. kind of prosecutor or a judge to defend your civil liberties, yes. not to arrest you for chemicals. The war on chemicals is not working out. No. Look what it's done to this woman. Look what it's done to this town. Mm -hmm. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. Mm -hmm. So do you have anything else you want to add while we're here? Anything, any particular cops that hurt you badly? Just definitely Spall Jarek um, and Blankenship. They're no good. Blankenship. You know, I had Blankenship's grandpa in earlier, and he was telling me how they're good boys and they're doing the right thing, and that it's you who's on drugs. Were you on drugs when Blankenship abused you? No. No, I was not. Mm -hmm. These people are brainwashed, okay? Especially the older people. They're so programmed that they don't realize that they are. And so it's so easy when someone tells them this is black, they think it's black without checking out whether it's really black or not, you know? Right. It's bullshit. People don't check things out for themselves. If someone tells you something, do research. Where does Spall Jarek work at? Uh, the Sheriff's County Jail, Lawrence County Sheriff's oh, Office. Oh, Jeff Lawless. The personable mm -hmm. nice sheriff. Yep. Spall Jarek's a brutal thug according to several people now. Yes. Spall Jarek hurts people. He does. He does. You were being booked in and you said, I don't belong here. And you said you got manhandled. What does that mean? Well, um, he jerked me out of the chair and threw me on the ground because I spit my hair out of my mouth, you know? And he got on top of me and he, he almost killed me. I couldn't breathe. Like I thought I was going to die. Because I thought that you, was going to be my death. Yeah, it sounded like it. You, you broke me up earlier. So so he does this to you, and does anybody report him for doing this? The woman that was there, she's an older woman. Her name is Joy, and I really think she felt bad about it. I think she's the one that called my parents because my parents didn't know. I didn't get a call. You don't get a call when you go in there, by the way. You don't get a you call. You don't get a phone call? No, you don't. No, you don't. And you are sleeping on top of other people there. It's always packed. It's been packed for years. And Jeff Lawless, he knows. You know, Jeff. How many times have you got the money to replace that jail? It was in the newspaper three years ago that you got over $4.2 million to replace that jail over a period of time that you have been in office. And you've never done anything about it. There poisoning in there. I mean, if you get arrested, don't get arrested in Lawrence County. That's the worst jail around. 
And they're wow. right. They're right. Jeff Lawless. When we were yesterday with Tim and Sarah, I said, well, she's saying they're stacked up. Let me see, Jeff. And Jeff said, no, you can come back on visitation days. <laughs> Why would he say that? Because he wants to hide that everybody's stacked. Exactly. Time to clean up. You guys do me a favor. Everybody hit the like button. I got a, a Mark lectured my ass off today. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment, share, like, comment, share, subscribe, which this is not why I started this. I started this because I give a damn about justice because yeah. I don't want it to happen to me. Everything I do is for myself. This is why I'm speaking out because I feel like if I can just help one person be empowered to stand up and speak for themselves about what happened, that's one person that I have helped. That's right. That's right. And what happened to her, I guarantee you, there's a hundred more just like her. So the Blankenships are beating on people, wrongfully arresting people, and mm -hmm. their family comes to their aid, but not the citizens. This, this parking lot is packed full of people Yep. who want to talk to me. Exactly. Why? Because they're sick of it. They're sick of it. We can't do nothing in this town. You know, I mean, they harass us. They do just like they did with Sarah. They'll stand and sit at the bottom of our driveways and wait for us or sit close to our houses and wait for us if they know that we're standing out against them. They don't want anything because because we're breaking their system. They all work together. It's the good old boy system. I know him. He's okay, but yet he might not be okay. You know, they that's how they are. Crooked as hell. Crooked. Well, just so you know, three different carloads of people have driven by here just now and all waved to me. Three mm -hmm. different carloads of people. So for the people who hate me, the, then there's people here who hate me. Why am I here? Why am I here? Because the people, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the symptom. The <laughs> sickness is the dirty pigs in this town exactly. and the dirty sheriff and the dirty sheriff's department. You guys are a bunch of pigs. Exactly. And then on Facebook, they're talking about how I should be arrested. You should be arrested, you filthy pig. Look what you've done to this woman. They took her to the dungeon with staples in her head from the hospital. No humanity. Did they cuff you on the way to the dungeon? Oh, yeah. So you're injured. Your head's been cracked. I got scars. I got scars from the handcuffs. I don't know if you can see it that good. Yeah, you can oh, see yeah, it right there. Wow. Can put that back up. You have scars from the hand. Look at that. Mm -hmm. She has scars from the handcuffs. Yeah. Oh there's my. There's one over here. That's oh what my they did god. Right there, that big indent scar. That's them scratching the hell out of me. And by the way, did you know that the number one lawsuit against police is because of what's called neuropathy damage? Did you know that? No, but I've heard about that, that's and right. that's up here, isn't it? Where no, it's in your wrist. Oh. It's from your wrist. Maybe that's why our wrists go numb. It's called neuropathy. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I but just. Yeah, that, I mean. So this is the number one lawsuit against police. She has scars on her wrist from the cops putting her in torture cuffs. Mm -hmm. Yep. The whole system has to be changed. Every single bit of it has to be changed. We need a third party on the scene. I've written a new police system. I will unveil it within two weeks. Within two weeks of this video, I will teach you guys an entire new policing system based 100% on the digital era, on the camera, on transparency. The name of the new system is not called police. You don't run around with a hunk of metal on your chest and a gun off your side. It's called transparency and education. That's the new system. Yeah. for the digital era 2022 everything changes yeah. all right you guys uh do me a favor thank you so much for the support remember to like subscribe and share i sound i feel like i just a, i feel <laughs> stupid saying it like subscribe and share and then get my trifold i put the code in the comments i put it in the description get the trifold look at the top of it what the cop's going to say and your response is showing him the paper yeah don't talk to these guys don't speak to them okay that's why i've given it away for free Am I, is it free? That's good. That's okay. a good thing. Okay, so you guys get that trifold so you don't talk to these dirty, filthy animals. All right? All right, anything else you want to add before I let you go? Yes, the more people that stand up, the more change we can create. We are the ones. We're the voices. We have to do this. Yeah. That's why I'm here. That's why she's here. All right, let's jump out. I'll, I'll, get, I'll see if anybody else here wants to. There's three. Thank you, Chili. You're welcome. You're welcome. There's three car loads full of people here.
four, five, five carloads. There's five carloads. Uh, did you want to talk to me? Okay, okay. She doesn't want to be on camera. Let me see if anybody here. Did someone here want to talk to me? Okay. Uh, did anybody else? Uh, what's up? I'm sorry. What? What? what, what no one. No one could see. I got the camera hidden. What'd you say? I said we're blue lives matter. Your blue lives matter. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Though. But don't you care about the bad cops who are hurting people? If it wasn't for our cops, we wouldn't be safe. There's some bad cops. That's but not true. Not. Listen, in the school policy, there has to be cops. What if there's a school shooting? We're all fucking. But dead. that's a shark attack. No, that's no, fear. I don't want to talk to you. But you said, I don't do you care about the bad cops? I don't want to talk to you. Do you care about the bad cops? Back the fuck up. Sure, sure, sure. Give me a video. I'm gonna shit. I'll knock your ass out right here. You're gonna attack me? I ain't gonna attack you if you don't back the fuck up. You gonna attack me? I, mean, I ain't gonna attack you. Aren't you a high school kid? Huh? Aren't you a high school kid? You wanna get your ass whipped by a high school kid? I don't wanna fight you, dude. I don't wanna fight you. Yeah, I've had a lot of people like 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 these people who hate me for I, I'm the symptom of the sickness. I I appeared because the symptoms are showing. He he just told me uh which uh by the way, you know, I don't fight high school kids. So just so you guys know. So are you from hey, are you from uh California? That's my daughter. She's oh, okay. I'm, I'm, oh, you're fine. Are hey. you are you Blue Lives Matter as well? Yeah. So you what about the bad ones who are hurting people? You don't, you don't care? Yeah. Okay. Unless it happens to you. Back the blue till it happens to you. Until it happens to you and then keep my number. Okay, where are you going to be if you're dead right here? The cops don't show up to help you. They show up and put a chalk outline yeah. around your body. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Am I blocking your entrance here? Am I in your way? I don't want to impede your travel. You have a right not to be arrested by a person. I'm not rude at all. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, are you from California, though? I'm from an, an, another, another one. Hey guys, third note, third note being passed to me today. This is the third note. So, so don't you care, ma'am, about the bad cops being rooted out? Oh, I'm not talking. <laughs> okay, I don't want to force you into anything. I, I thought you pulled over here to talk to me. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not a, a attack journalist here. I just want to make sure that everybody knows that that you know. And by the way, brother, uh, you can back the blue all you want. When it happens to you, call me. I'll help you. I'll help you. I will. I will help you. I will. My dad's a cop. Well, oh, that doesn't save you, bro. That doesn't save you. Your dad's a cop. Doesn't save you a damn thing. There's so many cars here. It's unbelievable. There's so many. Car There's so many people who are here. I know. It's just incredible. All right. Yeah, I, I, I think you had a story you were going to tell me, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, He's just you don't want, on camera. I know you're not on camera. The people can hear you, but they cannot see you. Yeah, I'm, I had a couple exits with the, um, what's his? The McKnight. McKnight. When McKnight. he caught a bitch. Yes. <laughs> Another McKnight story. Yes. Uh, okay. he, I'm sorry. He's I, actually, I every time he's pulled us over, he's asked me for my ID when I'm in a passenger I'm seat. Do you, ha you have my trifold? The trifold when it's. I don't even know how to get to it. You no. go to deletelaws.com and then you put, you put digital download trifold and then you put the code free trifold in. It doesn't cost you anything other than the cost of him. Okay. That's what I'm going to start doing. So get the trifold, go to get the, get the trifold, show him I don't have to show you my ID by not speaking and pointing. I don't have to show you ID. Yeah, he okay. uh, literally followed us one day. He, I was at one of my friend's house picking up a tent okay. for my kid for her birthday, which is the one right behind him. Okay. And. He went down, what, two or three blocks, maybe? Yeah. Two or three blocks. He was, like, way ahead of me, like, way on the other side of the road. I'm on this side, and he's this way. I didn't feel a turn single. I didn't feel a two-step at a stop sign. He followed me from, what street is that, 4th? Yep. 4th Street down to the library, which I don't know where that is. The okay. Ironton Briggs Library? I don't know. He, that's right where in front he, of the police station. That's right where he pulled me. Yeah. He pulls you over? He pulls me right there, and okay. I pulled over. And at first, he hesitated. He didn't want to get out of the vehicle. He was going to pull off. I was like, he cannot do that. After he lights me up, he has to pull me over. Yep. Right. Like, you can't just pull off. And I get out, well, first I'm sitting there, you know, I was like trying to give him my license registration. He's like, I want your license registration insurance. I was like, he's not driving. No. Wait, he they, tells they, me, they go to your passenger? Yes. He tells me to shut the fuck up and to get out of the car. So I was like, okay, I'm going to shut the like fuck Sarah. up. Sounds like Sarah. Well, I no. got out and I did not shut up. Well, Sarah is more calmer than me. Like, she, I know she cried. Like, I feel bad for that girl. Right. I'm not going to lie. I feel really bad for her. That pissed me off whenever I seen that video. So I get behind, at the time I was not driving my van, I was driving a LSX Escort and... I don't care. They're going to piss me off. Oh, you got to turn that. I can't have that. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. I just didn't have any sound on here. You're fine. And um, he was like, 
Well, he asked him for his license registration, whatever, you know, they're crying. Sure. We're, we're in a smaller crying. car. We're not in a van. So they're crying and I get out of the car and they're still crying because they think I'm going to jail. And I asked him, I said, what's the reason why you pulled me over? And he's like, I don't have to give you a reason. I said, um, yeah, you do. By law, you have to give me a reason why you pulled me over. He never gave me a reason. Well, after I cussed him a little bit, he was like, well, you left a known drug area. I was like. A known drug area? Yeah. Yes. That's what he told us. And then he asked me, he said, where is the drugs? And I know he has drugs on him. He's got drugs on him? Yeah, me. Supposedly he had drugs yeah. on him. Are you a meth user? No, no. sir. Okay. He I, used to use drugs back to. in the day. Back in the day. He's been clean for what, five, six years now? Yeah. Okay. So now they're just sure that you're doing drugs. You can't, you're not allowed to change your life. You're not allowed no. to clean up. No. no. Okay. Now, right. now you got a couple of kids. Yeah. So yeah. Is that what cleaned you up? Yes, sir. The kids? Yeah. Because yes. the kids are about five and about two. Yeah. One. We one got two. a uh, two year old and she's getting ready to be seven. Yeah. But every time they pulled me over or stopped me, man, they've always rasped me. Every time I went to jail, they beat me. They beat you. They beat the hell out of me every time. They beat you. It was um, McKnight, McKnight and um, I, I can't remember that. Blankenship. Like, yeah. The, yeah. Not the. Not the beard yeah. one, but the other one. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know which there's one's which. There's Brandon and there's. I don't know Chance. which one's which. Chance. It's the one without the beard. Chance it was beat Chance. you up. So yeah. Chance and McKnight beat him up. You tell me Yeah, why? they beat me. Boy, you know what? It's so funny that these guys are such good guys. I keep on hearing that they beat people up. Did you get a chance to defend yourself? Did they drop the badge and gun and say? Oh, so you're in cuffs yeah. and they're beating on you? Yeah. yeah. They didn't drop the badge and gun and say, I'll fight you square up. They, no. they, they beat you while you were under the color of law. Yeah. They even, I don't know who it was. It's been years ago. My little girl was two at the time. She's going to be seven. So that's been, what, five years ago? Well, you, you, you're a kid. You wouldn't have a chance. I don't like that little kid. I'm but, sorry. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. 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 She was like um, two at the time, my seven-year-old. When they, he has a 10-day bench warrant. Okay, explain to me why... A, Cops, a ton of them, like there's like what 10 of them, yep. will kick a door in, literally kick my door off the hinges for a 10 day bench warrant, point guns in my face while my two year old is standing behind me crying because they're pointing a gun in my face, threatening to shoot me because I wouldn't tell them where he was. So, so is the warrant for killing people? No, for kidnapping? No, is the warrant not for showing up to court? Not showing up to court. That's yeah. it. So they home mind. invade you? Yeah. yeah, they kick my door wide open. So off the fourth the amendment is dead. Yeah. yeah. And pointing the gun at me in front of my two-year-old, and she's scared to cry because no they're scared that he'll shoot yeah. me. They said you have no rights. Yeah. yeah, we have no rights. I have no rights. That's what they said out yeah. loud. Yeah, you have no rights. No. no rights. No rights at all. And I know one no. right. You got a right to remain silent. Oh, but wait a minute. But you're not allowed. <laughs> but I'm the bad guy here. Right. Uh, it's me, right? I yeah. caused all these problems here. No, no. you no. ain't been here. This no. this has been going on for years. years. Like, just oh, like the guy. I see. I see. What's but, his name? The guy that was underneath the car, she said his name earlier. Oh, okay. That they yeah. drug, they yeah. drug this guy. They ran over top of him. A cop ran over top of this guy, okay? Ran him over, drug him from 9th Street Park, to the, right here in Ironton, it. to the police station. You know how far that is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty far. Yeah. Can you not hear something dunking under your car? Eight or nine blocks, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then steps over top of him. When I'm, he gets all his cop cruisers, he sees him because he's on his side. Steps over top of him, walks in the cop station. Are you afraid to go on camera too? And did not... Uh, uh, they don't scare me. I don't okay, care. Let, let's, let's go. Let's, 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 I don't want you guys just to see me. I want you to see the, the, the truth. The truth. So so now they pull you over. Yes. And then they want to beat up your dude. Yes. And they do. Yes. And how many times do you see this happen? What? I don't even remember because I was taking tr track of her. Yeah. That been, one right there. Four, uh -huh. five, five, four or five times? Maybe six? Times. Probably more than that. I don't I don't. So want to four or five her. times. Yes. They pull you over. He's not driving and they arrest him. Yes. And they beat him up. Yes. Am I putting words in your mouth here? No. I want to make sure that people know that I'm not leading you no. here. No, aren't the cops are crooked. Yes, they are. Well, but, just about all of them besides one, and I want to make sure he is known. That's Todd Wilson. He is a very good cop. Yeah. Well, Todd Wilson, if you're a good cop, then contact me. If Todd Wilson's the good guy, yes. well, then surely transparency... I will stick with him. Todd Wilson. I'd like to talk to you, Todd. Anybody know Todd Wilson? I'd like to talk to Todd Wilson. He's usually at the um, Ironton School on at that, the one where my little girl goes to, and he is a very good cop, and he stands for what is right. Well, let's see if he does. Let's see if Todd's willing to report the Blankenships and McKnight and ha Hanshaw. Let's see. Let's see if he's willing to report these people, because if he's a good cop, he's going to report them, right? Right. Yes. And he knows this is going on, right? I have no idea. I'm not going to say that because I don't know. Okay. <laughs> he's usually on what night shift or day shift? I think he's. I know he's not on a shift with McKnight or the blanket yeah. ships that I know of. Because he's usually not with there when they're there. They're usually the ones that always come in packs. 
Oh, like I think they're all like, like brothers, even though two of them are, but I think they're other ones with them. They're and nice. they stick and, and yeah. have you guys heard of the Blake and Chip family have anything to do with the with the drug game? I have yeah, heard a lot about yeah. it, and I know a couple people. I don't know about now, but I know back in the day they used to buy drugs off of them. Off of who? The one that you videoed that one day. Yeah. Off of Carl or off of I don't know of Chance. I, I don't know their names. I don't know. Any oh, of you have names. a friend who bought drugs directly from one of the Blank and Chip cops? No, 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 he's not a cop. cop. Yeah, they, they're oh, they're oh, the other one, the yes. brother who'd already been to prison. Yeah. So I want to be clear about that, guys. I think it's him. She's not accusing the two brother cops of dealing drugs. She's accusing the brother who came in and testified on camera and gave his account, his report, that he's the one that they bought drugs from. So I want to make sure this is clear. That's what I was told. She's yes. not saying it was. The, uh, she's not saying it was Carl either. Carl Blankenship. I don't know him either. Okay, so she's not saying it was either the Blankenship cops that were bought drugs from. She's saying that it was the Blankenship guy who came in. Uh, I'm sorry. What was his name again? And he gave he gave a report on camera. I just want to be clear about that because I want to be fair. I want to be fair. Right. It matters that we stay transparent yes. and fair. Okay. Anything else you want to add while you're uh, while well, you, Pam. Pam. Is yeah, my, I'll definitely Pam. She's not my aunt, but she's related to me. Let me go over here. I don't want to get the kids in the shot. I don't want to get the kids in the shot. She's not my relation to me, but let me tell you something. You, oh, I'm sorry. She's dirty. Yeah. yeah. Can we? Exactly. Sorry about that. Yeah, she is related to me, and she is a dirty cop. Yeah, I forgot that's the Pam name. Pam is I related to you. Yes. Pam she, Wagner, the current chief of police. She's, we don't, we don't we don't yeah. Yeah. It's just, you guys are related. Yeah, and yeah, I'm related to her because my it's my cousin's aunt. So she's my great. Well, I don't know how you would blame right. that, but she is related to me. And every time she she was a cop, she used to harass me constantly because of who my last name was. She would harass me. She would harass she her. She threatened to put me in prison for and not giving him up. Yeah, because he had a. He, bench, they bench warrant, she yeah. lied to me and told me he had a felony warrant for his arrest. Yeah. And that I was aiding and abetting a fugitive and threatened to put me in jail for no reason. She said, I'll put you in prison because you're... I said, he has a 10-day bench warrant. How can I go to prison over a 10-day bench warrant? No, they arrest people in couples. They arrest the, the boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah. husband, wife. And by the way... So, so to take my kids and everything, yes. Oh, they threaten to take your children. Yes. yes. And give them to the division of child services on me child and take services. my kids because I won't give him up. Yes. He had a 10-day wow. bench warrant. He had a 10 day bench warrant. I was like, you take my kids and I promise you, they I'll arrest go to people. And this is after they told you that you have no rights. They have yes. no rights. And so you, let's talk about Pam Wagner a little bit. You're her family member. Yeah. So I'd like to know when did she start being corrupt? And they, I, I talked to someone else who's related to her last night. I haven't released the audio yet. But when did she become corrupt? Was she always corrupt? Yes. Always. <laughs> it's been my guess since she's been a cop. She since she, she started on it, yeah. she's been there for a long since time. She's had that badge. She thinks she's everything now. But yeah. Even though she grew up poor like we did. They're all woo woo yelling at you. <laughs> well, there's three or four cars up here screaming, so I waved to them just to. So she's been corrupt since the beginning, huh? Yeah. Hmm. She's a dirty cop. She's a dirty cop. And I like how you called that Nick Knack a bitch. That just made my yeah. day, dude. It made my day, dude. That's the reason why I've been trying to find you the whole time since yeah. I've seen that video. I was like, we got to find him wherever he's at. I want to go. And my yeah. buddy just texted me that works here. And he's like, he's at McDonald's. I said, I'm going. <laughs> well, McKnight likes to beat people up yeah. under the color of Especially law. Especially females. Yeah. yeah. And, and by the way, a lot of the cops here, of they, they target females. I'm, right. I'm like hearing it over and over yeah, and over. They, they will yell at us more than they will the men. That's what you get when you hire beta males. That's when you have a bunch and of... he's a kid. He's younger than me. I'm 31 years old. He's 26 or 27. Yeah, the other one's 22 he's younger than me. And I am 31, and he's yeah. younger than me. Like, Graduated high school in 2016, right? So you get beta male, young... I don't want to say... I don't want to hack young men, because I respect young men who serve in the military and who, who are standing upright for justice. Right? But you hire beta males who are in their 20s, and you're going to get the bullying of women and the wrongful arrests and the beatings. Yes. The beatings. The beatings, and I like how you, what you say about the handcuffs, because it's the truth, man. They torture hurt. cuffs. They are torture they cuffs. They hurt. Yes. Torture every, cuffs. And every time they put handcuffs on my, my hands, swell up. Yeah. Yeah. They put them on that tight. Mm -hmm. They put them tight. Kids are so cute. Thank you. So, so when they beat you, were you in handcuffs? Yes, sir. The whole time. So are they smacking you, punching yeah. you? Yeah, in the back seat of the cop car. Yep. Really? No. Do they put you, do they, do they, because what cops do a lot, and I'm hearing this from a few people, 
they don't put the seatbelt on you. No, you don't get in the seatbelt. He told me stop resisting. I was not resisting. I was trying to get in the back seat. But you're like this. Literally right, crushed right, up. Right. right, you can't fit in the back seat. Right. What have I been saying for the past week? You can't fit in the back seat. You get yeah. stuffed Here. into a little tiny claustrophobic Here, space and with plastic, and you yeah. can't even fit your feet back there. No, and he kind of, no he, space for you. Right, he and told then, me stop resisting. And then he shoves you in there. Yeah. Does, does the beating start in the back seat? Yes. They're just punching you? Punching me, hitting me. Punching you, you and hitting you as you're cuffed in a back seat. Yeah. Back of my head, in my back, and what was it? He hit me in my, I think he hit me in my ear, too. Yeah. It, dude, it, like, it made me so mad. I was in tears. That's, it made oh, me yeah. feel like a, you know, There's nothing wrong with crying, bro. You know what I mean? You should, you should cry if what happened to you. Right. And so then, do, do they put the seatbelt on you, or do they get, go and slam the brakes on? There they treat you back there. Right, there's no seatbelt. There's, there's no seatbelts in no. the back for the people who are being persecuted and prosecuted. They just slam you back there, and they take you down to the jail, and they treat you like a piece. They treat you like a piece of crap. Right, and they strip search you. Yes. And then they book you. Yes. And then when you go into the dungeon, it's just packed full of bodies. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Me. That Joe is ever packing. Reason why he wouldn't let you go back there and told you to come back on visitation day. You want another real reason why you gotta come back on visitation day? Because they, Cause they ship off. half of them out, and it'd be perfect. Yep. Swear to God, you're always. I laid on a mat underneath a telephone one day and slept because there was no nowhere to be. They were so overcrowded. Oh, they cuffed and you and took a, you to the dungeon. I had to stay in B3. That's a men's cell. They and put me in B3. Did you have to get strip searched? Yep. You turn around, squat, and cough. No, That's anybody. They, they never done that to me. They done to her to torture her is what they did. They did. They me. make me face them and squat down and cough three times. Oh, so you had to do the same thing: yes. turn around, squat down, and cough. So yeah. you, you had three turnarounds. Yep. They really need to look up your bottom. Yeah. yeah. They have to look up inside of you. And I told him I was like, I would not ever, ever bring anything. Like I, I didn't even go to jail. Only thing I went to jail for was a disorderly conduct because my disorderly dad. Disorderly conduct again. My dad Another was hitting disorderly... my mother, and I hit him back. So yep. another disorderly conduct where someone's going to a dungeon. Yep. Hey, Jeff, Lawless, you think this is right? Yep. You think this is right? And we, another thing, they will not give your medicine to you when no. you're in there. They will not. That's why people that, get beat Yeah, that one way that they had strapped down and beat the shit out of him and shit. The only reason why they did that is because he asked for his uh, blood pressure medicine. Yep. He asked for his blood pressure medicine. And they beat him until he died. Yep. Well, come on down here and do it. I'll come up there. Come on up here. Me and you. I'm coming. I'm walking right up. The guy's screaming he's going to run me out of town. Okay. Well, do you want to have a talk? Let's talk. I'm up here all by myself. Did you want to talk? I don't have nothing to say to you. I think you're a fucking scumbag, man. Okay. You've invited everybody out. I'm right here, though. I came to talk to you. I have nothing to say to you. But you said you wanted to talk. You wanted to run me out of town. Why am I here? I, I want you to leave our town. You are a fucking scumbag. No, nobody else does, though. Hey. Hey, it is what. Hey, hey, man, what do you think? They're cows. You know. Do you know it? You do you know what's happening? Do you know what's happening? I'm if asking. If I knew you. it was happening, I'd be on your team. Well, well I, did it happen to you? I don't want you guys getting each other's faces. Stay, stay, please stay apart. Yes, sir. We're I peace will. here, bro. Yes, sir. This, I'm about I'm peace, dude. I don't want to fight way. you. I'm the same way. And okay. This is me all because okay. I think. You think what? I think you're a scumbag. Okay, that's okay. Yes. Okay. And I think you're a wussy. Listen, I think you're a giant pussy. Hey, I, I, I'm just telling you what I think. You can prove me. I think you're out of shape and you don't take care of yourself. <laughs> you say that all the time. I'm giving you an invite right now. If you I don't want to fight you, man. I'm just saying I, what I think. Not? You said you think You've I'm scum. You've invited everyone else. You've invited every cop. I'm, a, I'm allowed to tell you. Cop, every single cop in a badge. You've invited. They're cowards. Yeah, because cow because I want to do a charity event. I'm going to do a charity event. I'll do it right here. I no, that can this raise is this is that would that that, 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 your ass. that would be assault. That, that would be assault. No, it would too. Sign the waiver, motherfucker. Right. If we have a waiver in a legal Sign arena, it. that's different. Sign that's different. It. But hold on. Wait. No. 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 Don't 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 tear your shirt off. Keep. Listen. They'll they'll try to arrest me for okay. inciting a riot. Okay. 
Okay, you got to keep your cool. Okay. Now hold on a minute. No, no, you told me you thought I was scum. I said I thought you were wussy, so we told yes. each other how we think. Okay. Good. Now, now hold yes. on a second. Now to be fair to everybody, let's give this Everybody. gentleman. Hold on, just to be fair. No, okay. I'm good. I'm, the I'm same not going to attack you, brother. Yeah, I can stand I'm right next to you. I'm not going to fight you, dude. I'm but I, I want to give this gentleman a. F hold on a second. Let, let's let's mediate this fairly. We're Americans, right? Do you love America? Do you love America? Absolutely. Then give him his chance to speak. Everybody heard you. I don't have nothing against you. We all heard you. Let him speak now. I will. Now, what do you want to tell him? Absolutely. Fair and square. Cuts are crooked. Yeah, they are. They are the crookedest motherfuckers around here, brother. Let me tell you something. There's only one. They that's pulled us Hold on. Five hold on. Times. Five times, all right? Ask me for my ID. I'm going to pass the seat. Is that right? Can you tell me? Is that right? It's a conversation. I'm, I'm not a cop. But I don't know. He's telling, he's I don't. Hold. The only thing I'm trying to do is get in the back seat of the car. How many times have you been arrested? I've been arrested a lot. Five times a week. I mean, dude. dude over nothing, over a 10 Oh, so it hasn't happened to you, so it couldn't happen no, to you. No, 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 no. Trust me. I'm not an innocent person. You're not? Chili. You've been arrested too? I've been arrested. Okay, so you, everybody goes to the dungeon. Yeah. Then I, why do you back the blue? The, the, what do you mean? Because was, I was it wrong. overcrowded when you went to the jail? I was wrong. Was it, were there bodies from wall to wall in the jail? When I was, was there? arrested, I was wrong. But was there bodies from wall to wall in the jail? Yes. I went down Answer to, me. I went down to the drunk tank on a DUI. Okay. okay. Yes. I deserve every ounce of what I got. I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't think you did. Look, but, but you can do whatever. But are you going to invalidate what happened to him? Is that, does it doesn't count. Is that what you're telling me? I'm going to tell you something. Does it count or not? Does it count? Is he is he lying? You you I, called me a I scum. Know. I told I, you what I thought of you. We I had it out. With him. I think that you is, is he telling the truth? You personally. Is he, I'm a scumbag. I got you. I'm scum. A I'm scumbag. scum. I'm scum. Now, how about five this? I'm here because of guys like this. Keep, hey. I'm here because of guys like Keep this. Keep on fighting your fight. Okay. 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 Your yeah. I, I appreciate and respect it. Hey, I respect you standing up here like a man. I'm a, I respect you standing yes. up here like a man. I am a grown ass. Yeah. Is what yeah. Is. Yeah. Okay. I disagree I you with. You with can get a picture with me. That go. To jail for the obvious reason deservedly so and then turn around against the cops and say the cops did something wrong that's what i am okay 1, okay thousand percent against well i i gave you your chance to speak yes, it's good okay you're, hey look i get what you're doing okay keep fighting your fight okay thank you i don't like you okay that's cool i, hate I don't what you stand uh, for. listen i i don't it's not that i dislike you it's not that that's the great thing about america i think i think i think you live what, don't get hit by a car, brother. Don't don't get hit by a car. Don't get hit by a car. <laughs> okay, is there anything else you want to say? I want to make sure you get your op opportunity. You told me I'm a scumbag. I'm a piece of shit. Okay, everybody heard you. Anything about the cops here? You think what they're doing is right to people? You think that, that he's just making shit up? I think they're great. You think the cops are great? Listen, hey, you're, you're welcome to your opinion, too. I think they do a tremendous job. Okay. I think that the way they govern our town... But but these people don't matter. It's just me. I'm the bad guy. No, no. You don't count. He doesn't count. I'm hearing what he said. But, but then why don't you validate him? The man's been beaten and cuffed sitting in the back of a cop car it's five times. I didn't see it. Oh, you? oh, you didn't see it. So he's yeah. lying. Then you're a I'm liar. not saying that. He's a liar. I, I didn't say that. You're trying to put words in my mouth. But then you, do, do, do you believe right? him or not? No, I don't. You don't believe him, so I then he's lying. Guys. So then he's lying. No. I got a question. Have you watched any of his videos? Okay. I, I watched too many of them. Have you watched Sarah where she was mangled, mentally beaten, basically? I did. What about the guy? What, uh, I uh, haven't penguin? watched uh, but about, about three minutes, and I honestly get sick, sick in about Why don't you watch the Sarah Page story? Maybe That's I why I'm here, brother. I forgot her name. What Listen, I'll watch it. do you know why I have respect for you? Because you can stand here with me face to face. We can tell each other you're a piece of shit. I think you're a pussy. And we can stand here and still talk. You can I, say respect I'm a pussy. That. I respect that. I'll tell I respect you right that. Now, you couldn't fucking handle me on your best day, bro. Right? Oh, yeah? I'll put money on it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm willing to write a waiver. Yeah. You've offered everybody that. Yeah. I yeah. will write it Let's right now. Let's go to the gym. Yeah. Or else we'll get, whatever. I'll yeah. go to the gym. We'll I'll take it to the streets. Okay. Whatever you we want. don't fight in the streets, brother. Hey, we I'm say not, law and I'll order. It, Aren't I'm, you for law and order? I'm for law. Fighting in the streets is I'll not law and to order. The gym and to the gym. A fair pace in the gym. A fair place. Okay. Okay. I don't think he would. 
I might not. Listen, I, I'm not going to fight you out here, dude. I'm not going to fight you out here. I may not, but I will sign the waiver with everything that well, he's at least okay. Come on, let's take a picture, guys. I want to make sure that you heard everything. I don't have nothing against anybody. Everybody should stand for what they think. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, brother. Hey, man, you keep doing what you watch, do. watch yourselves. But did you watch the stories? It's one of my friends. Can I come up to you? I don't don't get hit. Can I walk up to you? I don't, I'm not going to fight no, you. you so, get, no, so, so let me not, ask you a question. Have you watched any of the stories? Have you watched it? Problem. It's good. No, no, no take, don't take, worry. take it easy. No, no, no. no, there's no, no have, 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 have you no watched any of the stories? Yeah. You're you what's what's you're you're on video, sir. I'm 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 his son. Okay, it's nice to meet you. He's a gentleman, dude. He yeah, I'm a gentleman too. But somebody like called me and said, "Hey, your He's dad's told... about to get fucking jumped." I'm here. You, you know that. You know. Dude, that. I'm not. You know I would not. You're a fucking you, brother. scumbag. I wouldn't I shake your fight. fucking you hand, don't, you don't have to shake my hand for nothing. Would you please? Hey, next thing we'll say, change your clothes, too. Nasty motherfucker. You've had the same clothes on since you've been on everything. <laughs> hey, hey. The next thing is. Change your fucking clothes. You talk about this little town, what it is. You've had the same fucking clothes on. For These are four actually days. different clothes. I wear I wear the same attire every day. It don't matter. He hey, I wear the he same. I wear a the new sweatshirt. Hey. And, and, and a new t shirt. I'm going to tell, tell you jeans. right now. They're all you're, a, look, you're a piece hey, of shit. You told me that already. Yeah, no, There's nothing more to add. You're a piece of shit. I commend you. Look at your mask. 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 Look at Hey, listen, let's, whoa, hey, listen, let's, 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 let's you, you getting in a fight doesn't help anybody. I'm not. Let's go down. Let's go down. Listen, I, 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 let, I, let, I let you be heard out. Yes. If anybody does it, I will do it. Thank you, Thank you for your time. Hang on. Appreciate your time. If anybody does it, I appreciate your time. Thank you for your time. I'm going to tell you. Let's go down. We're walking down. Come on. Let's go walk. Shut up. No, no, no. I wouldn't let anybody jump. I wouldn't let anybody jump. Come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Hey, hey, you go get in your car for me, please. Hey, listen. Go get Go get in your car. Jump in your car for me, buddy. Hey, listen. You're not going to help me. You're not going to help me. This This hurts us. No, not for the children. No, 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 no. Get in the car. He's gonna. No, no, stop. Stop. No, listen. You're gonna be. Can you sit slow? Calm down. Right there. Calm down. Listen. Don't do this. The cops will arrest you. I'm gonna tell you right now. The cops will arrest you. Any one of you scumbag motherfuckers want it. You've asked. No, you've asked for this. You're a piece of fucking shit. You hear me? You're a piece of shit. Yes. Hey, look. Look. Hang on. Look. Chili de crapo piece of fucking shit. Look. I'm inviting you, Chili. Get in the car. I'm inviting you. Hey, please. My kids are in here. Please. You fucking. You guys, if you if you would go, you would help me a lot. If you would leave, you would help me a lot. I'm trying to get him in. Go and leave. You would help me a lot. Hey. You're a piece of shit. Hey. Thank you. Chili. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Hey, Chili. I got money to get his ass. You're a piece. Look, I'm right here. We're, me and Chili is not going to hit each other. No, I don't think you Chili? I think you're, you're, I think you're a man of, of, of integrity so far. I think you're a scumbag. That's okay, but so far, as far as like. We're allowed to do this. Allowing to disagree. Hey. I think that you're good. You're a fucking scumbag, bro. Okay. Yeah. Living off yeah. fucking small town high. You, you're lying to guys. Hey, you guys, this cocksucker right out of here. here. Pull out of here. Pull out of here. Pull out. All right, brother. Hey. I'll see you down there. I'll right, meet you down there. You. This cocksucker here, it's Chili, yeah. he's lying to you. Yeah. No, hang on, sis. No, no, no. There's a truck. I'm trying to get them to go. I want you to go. No, there's a truck coming. She was getting ready to get hit. You can't calm down, brother. You're a liar. I don't want them. You're a fucking fraud. trying to get out. You're a piece of shit fraud, Chili. Okay. Keep playing it. He's going to pull Invite back. me to the gym. Exactly. Like you've invited I've me. I've invited you three times, bro. Do it for hey, charity. FOP. I will do it for F -O -P. fraternal. Are you fraternal or, stop? What do you mean, am I an ex? I don't know. No, Are you sure, cop? No, but we want to What's it matter if I am? Gym, like you've invited what does it matter? I want the cops. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not You're a piece of shit. But I'm not screaming. You're a fraud. Okay. You're a fraud. Can, can, can he pull out, please? Would you, would you pull up a little bit for me, please, sir? I appreciate hey, that. Thank you. What's Thank up, you. Baby?
You, I need I need you to leave. Please leave. Hey, go that way, back up, and go that way. Yeah. No, turn your car the no other need, way. The no other need. way. Hey, hang on a sec. No, he's pulling out. No need in them being in a hurry. Go on, sis. Go ahead, I sis. Got you. You. No. Hey, Chili, here's where we're from. I'll take care of this. I can have an argument in my town, but I'm going to take care of them. Thank you, Your Julie. fucking ass is making money Call off of them because you're a goddamn fraud. You're a fucking scandalous piece of shit. I want you to fight me. I want you to sign the waiver. Would you? Would you sign the waiver? Hey, would you sign the waiver? Hey, hey, hang on. Hey, hang on. This isn't going to go anywhere from here. Let's just talk later. No, it can Let's talk later. You got my phone number? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Where are we going? I'll, see you, I'll, I'll, be out, I'll be out tomorrow publicly. Where do you, you want to meet me at? Uh, McDonald's or Taco Bell? Hey, I've asked you 15 times to sign the waiver. Hey, are you a cop? If you're, you ask you all a, these guys. You're a cop. Everybody, are you, are you a cop? everybody that's got a badge on you has to sign it, right? Hey, look, I'm sitting here. Everybody Chili's ask that's got a badge on in Ironton and Lawrence County, sign the waiver. I'm asking Chili, sign the waiver. I want to you, you, beat you, you, your you know, ass. You have called me out. You've, hey. called, you've called me out. You I have, did it earlier, he's, too. He's called me out. He's called me out to hey. sign a waiver and fight sign him. Sign the waiver. Okay. We will do it charity. Okay. We'll okay. do it in Lawrence County. Okay. Hey. Go back to where you came hey. from. Okay. Hey. Hey. Thanks a lot. Everything that I've ever seen. Why you can? I knew it. You got a phone. That's all hey. you fucking got. Go back. It's it's no fucking little boy. It's no. He's wow. a Chili won't sign the waiver. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff are... She, she, she decided to run at me with the car. Okay. How you doing? Not, you're not on camera. Uh, so this is going to be the fifth note today. Go after every one of them. You're not on camera, so let me just... So what, what were you saying? You're not on camera. I am. This town is crooked. This town is crooked. Every, every cop, every court system, it's all crooked. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to put... I'll read your note and I'll call you, okay? okay. It's her sister. But it's it's her right sister. There. It's my daughter. It's your daughter. All they do is take the drugs from them and they use them themselves. Okay. Fifth, fifth note. Is this the fifth note or fourth note? Well, I will shake your hand. Tell Thank you. you. I appreciate it. I'll shake tell your you hand, keep, too. Keep doing what you're doing. Bootlickers. Take that motherfucker out. Take them out. And, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bye bye, honey. Thanks for coming. I gotta shake this guy's hand. One second. My wife's following you on YouTube right now. Yeah. Like, I have no idea. Like, I have no idea what. Literally, I've been telling my wife to be a cop, and I've told I told him. Much told him there was a cop that was trying to Mirandize. I had an incident like literally two weeks ago, and a cop tried to Mirandize my neighbor's right of freedom of speech because we got into an altercation with a neighbor because we have a newborn and he was blocking our. our Which our, cop was it? Um, I keep, I forgot his fucking name. He was a, a tall little skinny dude. Okay. And he's from Ironton. Is it Ironton Police yeah. Department? Ironton. Let me know his name when you get a chance. You can reach out to me on DeleteLaws.com. Okay. I got you. And then. Don't even pay attention to these. Well, he said he wanted to talk to me face to face, man to man. So I walked up there, and he he's drunk. Yeah, like these people are here. All they're worried about is just he's drunk. He's drunk. He, I mean, he's literally he smelled so drunk. He smelled like alcohol. So, thank you. No, no, no problem. Thank, thank you. Appreciate you. I see you met some of our, our local. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot, there's lots of people here. Lots of people. Lots of people up there. Lots of people here. It seems like the town is divided over police corruption. Is that correct? Yes. That's correct. And you're a high school girl? I'm college. You're in college? The cops harassed you here? stories of people being harassed okay. okay all right guys i'm going to take a little bit of break anybody want us for a couple of minutes uh make sure you guys go to deletelaws.com get that, that free fold it's free trifold is the 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 code and use that at checkout and you don't have to pay anything i want you guys to not talk to speak to police anymore okay